So we know you have a busy schedule. We're honored that you're with us today. Again, we thank you for being here. And if you'll join me in welcoming the Honorable Governor Jim Justice. And things are really better. And the 
state of West Virginia, we still got a lot of things to do and a lot of people to help. But I'm going to tell you, if you don't think things are better in West Virginia today, you're living in a cave. If you knew what I was dealt the hand on day one compared to today, it's so much different and unbelievable. And as it's different, we're able to do things to help our responders, to help our elders, to help education, to do all the different things that are right on our plate right this minute. Now, I would, I would challenge you just this way. Just the other night, I was on my way home, and I always cry. <laughs> I say this only in jest, but because the state policeman and our maniacs cry. And I only say that in jest. But nevertheless, I'm driving. And we come upon a wreck, and I slow down to stop. The state police behind me radios me, he says, Governor, I don't think anybody's hurt bad. Go on. He immediately turned on his blue lights and everything. I went to the top of the hill, and I called him back. He said, Governor, everybody's okay. Now just think about it. And about that time, all of a sudden, I went on about another five minutes worth, called him back again, and he was on the phone, and all of a sudden he said, I got to go. Well, I pulled off right that second and stopped, and then I called back, and when I called back, he said, two tractor trailers just ran into one another, and I'm running to try to get to a four-year-old kid. And again, there really, I don't think it's anybody work back. At the end of the day, you can hear it right in his voice. You can hear it right in you, all of you that are first responders. You can hear it and encourage in his voice. He was running to the fire. That's what you do. That's what you do for us every day. My dad was an elder. This organization has done so much good, it is off the chart what you've done. And I salute you in every way on the planet for just that, too. As things get better, we're reaching a point in time to where the monies are so astronomical within this state. As things get better, you're going to see brighter and brighter and brighter days. I will tell you this. We have an important election coming up, too. And I don't want to be a politician in any way, but I can tell you without any doubt, think hard about not wanting to go back to where we were. Honestly, where we were, if you could have seen what I saw on day one, it was unbelievable. You talk about despair, nowhere to turn. All the easy stuff was gone. It was nothing but bad bad and more bad. Nowhere to turn. What were we going to do? Now, I know you probably get aggravated about all the orange barrels, but I thank you like crazy for absolutely your vote in making that a reality. Many people try to convince you along the way, did they not, that all oh, your taxes will go up. There's no way in the world that could happen. I said they wouldn't, and they didn't. They were better. We're West Virginians. I'm a coach. Do you know the ball team that we have? Think about our ball team. Think about this ball team. This is why I ran. This is it. I couldn't stand us continuing to be 50th and everything coming going. The only reason in the world I ran was one thing, and that is I wanted to see West Virginians get their rightful Think about the ball team for a minute. Here's your ball team. I'm going to give you this place. I'm going to give it to you. Now, whoever you are, you've got this place. And this place has four of the most beautiful seasons on the blue planet. This place has the greatest people, the greatest craftsmen, low crime, faith based, the best people in the land. In addition to that, this place abounds in natural resources off the chart. The 
The nasty Charles did that dead dead mind. Skull will never come back. It's dead. Skull is gone. And every day we get better. And every day more families that they insult go to work. And that's what they want to do. But you abound in natural resources. You get four unbelievable seeds. You get the greatest people on the planet. The other thing I'm going to put this place within two thirds of the population of the whole country. And then we're going to call this place West Virginia. West Virginia. Now, think of the ball team you've got. You've honestly got LeBron James, Shaq, Jerry West, maybe Kobe Bryant, and Mike Jordan. How can you lose the games? How can you lose the games? And yet, politicians of Charleston Center, whoever it may be, has pushed you down, pushed you down, and pushed you down. You're the best. You're the very best. Our first responders are unbelievable. There's nobody on the planet who would love you more. I saw so many of them in the flood of 16, and I've seen this so often in the times that I've been spent as governor and many different avenues of all my life. I also thought about this on the way. You see, I don't have a speech for nothing or read. I thought about this on the way. Unfortunately, to abuse, and very unfortunately, the last hand that you may touch before you leave this earthly spot is the hand of the first one. Fortunately, the first hand you touch on the way to your recovery is the hand of the first one. How can there be anybody any more prepared for and I mean that I love you with all my soul, as I love this great state, and as I love absolutely the good work of love, love blesses each and every one of us, each and every day. So I end by saying, God.